Hi. Well, it's, uh, oh, dark. It's dark is what it is. Uh, hi. It's Tuesday, and it's Valentine's Day. So I decided to uh, do something uh, in the course of love, basically listen to you. I had a uh, request from one of my subscribers, XTCGuy911, to do a video on meditation. So I'm going to do that right now. And bear with me because, uh, I don't know, it's kind of flying by the seat of my pants if I had pants on right now. Sit with me right here. Okay, let's do this. Uh, the thing about meditation is that it's the, basically the ultimate reset button. No matter how you're feeling or what you're doing, you can breathe out. and reset. I think because energy, electrons, electricity seem to have a memory to them. When you breathe in, the energy inside you, the electrons, the way they attach to the carbon imprints the DNA so that it remembers how you felt when you when that happened. So two seconds go by and if you haven't breathed it out yet, your body's going to continue to have that feeling of what was rather than what is now or what can be. And it's really up to you if you want to reset and try something new with a new memory, you can do that. And you can feel good when you breathe in. I do this every day. And it's something that's difficult, I think, to translate to camera. I could be off base about that. Maybe it's not difficult to transfer to camera. But it's basically an internal calmness that lets me be crazy because I can uh, accentuate these these esoteric impulses. Maybe that's not the right phrase. Um, but really, I can like dwell on the negative and get really, really, really angry, and then flush it out and be back to normal. And I do that as an actor because I've been studying for five, six years to become the ultimate actor. Basically, uh, I want to become the best actor I can be. I want to be able to access any emotion at any time because it helps me interact with people. When they're angry, I feel that. And then they're not that angry anymore because of that empathy. And of course, happiness is easy to access. It was for me anyway. So breathe with me. You can sit down or lay down. A lot of times I lay on my back, so this is kind of weird sitting up. Um, and I hope this isn't boring for you, but I'm going to clear my mind. Here's a trick to this. I found that a lot of staying focused, staying calm, staying empty, clear, is your posture because a little bit of tension will clog it up and it'll also clog up your thought process. And I was told a lot as an actor in auditions and things whenever I'm on camera to put your chin down. Keep your chin down. And I realized only about a, couple, a year or two ago because Dominic uh, pointed something out to me, that it's not really about your chin. Your chin will go down if you have the right posture. It's about a coil of energy basically extending up your spine and out the top of your crown of your head and continuing up and down through your tailbone 
and down, down through the ground to the Earth's core, or wherever you want to think of the center as, or a center. And if you let that energy stretch your body, your chin goes down normally. You drop your shoulders, pull them back a little, drop them, relax them, extend your core, which to me what that means is this area from here, hope you can see this, right here your rib cage down to below your navel, let's say from here to here, maybe is your core, and you want to extend that as if there's a string going through the spine there with the shoulders still being loose, always breathing out the mouth. When you breathe out your nose, you've got metal in your system. There's carbon and you're forming carbon dioxide and sending it out. Carbon dioxide is relatively harmless, but can be irritative. And I don't know if it's actually toxic, but it, if you breathe out your nose, it'll irritate your sinuses. So if you're ever trying to make, stay, stay away from being sick, if you want to heal, breathe out your mouth. And it'll give, you'll never have a cold again. It'll let your sinuses relax. There's mucus that comes from your brain. And as long as you swallow that, send it into your stomach, you'll be able to digest the food that your body knows it needs to digest. Always out the mouth. And there's another fun trick you can do if you want to lose weight or heal like truly heal and that's to breathe out all the air in your stomach everything and then once it's all out of you breathe out a little bit more and you'll notice when you're working on this you can breathe in a little through your nose and a lot out your mouth and a little in your nose and a lot out your mouth and you'll wonder how am I breathing out more than I'm breathing in? Because your body has a lot of carbon in it and a lot of oxygen in it. And all you really need is electrons to synthesize that. You only need a little bit of oxygen from the air. You've got a lot in your system. So as long as you maintain a slow breathing process, you won't age as quickly. This is what happens when I eat before I do this. I had a banana and some quinoa. It works better on an empty stomach, I think, or on a thin stomach. But tension is tension, and it slowly fades as long as you breathe it out. Now, you can imagine places in your body where you feel tension, where you feel sore. Imagine that area is overheated. And when you breathe out, picture the air coming from that area and the heat that you're breathing out being the heat from that area and it will be your body can transfer electrons easier than it can move anything else you've got electrons flying through you right now really the only thing I think that ever keeps us from healing ourselves is the laziness of not going through the motions of doing it in that case I might as well just do it right This is my trouble spot right here. I've kind of, uh, I took an injury about four years ago doing some flips and I've just kind of allowed this area to, to maintain a sort of injury, a soreness, so that I can constantly, I, I always have a healing point. I always have a something that I can work on if I'm bored, a pain that I can work on releasing and I, I don't want to let it go because once I have no pain then I'm in trouble because if I sustain some sort of injury I'm not going to know what to do with it. 
was sure is fun to crack this area or break it or, or rip it or tear it or pull it or stretch it or whatever the fuck you do. I feel like the spine is like setting back. Our natural t tension is straight up and down. And uh, sometimes you see people with hunchbacks because their, their necks are protruding. And it's important to drop your shoulders and let your neck straight core. rush because I've got to go. I've got to go to work right now. We have a nice Valentine's Day dinner at the Tavern of Richfield. I believe I will be serving it and I believe it will be fun. I hope you have a good Valentine's Day. I hope you have a good February 14th. I hope you have a good Tuesday. I hope you have a good life. I hope you're feeling good. Feel better. Feel great. Be yourself and breathe out whatever was because the future is now See you later.